Hello and welcome back to this new video of mine and bookmas day two. Very exciting stuff. Today, as in the past few months as well, we're gonna pick books for my monthly TBR out of the TBR jar. I started doing that in October and I actually really enjoyed doing that. So yeah, this is gonna become a monthly thing, I guess. I try to stick to my TBRs, but you saw the books I read in the past few months yesterday in yesterday's video. And as you might have seen, this is sometimes a bit difficult for me, but I'm still having a lot of fun making these TBR videos and I'm still gonna attempt to stick to them and to stick to my TBR. So it just depends on how hectic the month is. But yeah, let's make one for it. December. Gonna be honest, I don't have actually like a lot of Christmas books on my list. Holiday books are just not my type of vibe. I don't think we're gonna have a lot of these today, but I'm still curious as to what the jar is gonna pick for us today. So let's start with the first one. I think I'm gonna pick around five because that's usually the sweet spot of books I'm able to finish in a month. You're gonna see it first. A book set in a country you've never visited. Oh, we had that once already and it was really difficult for me to say. I still don't think that I have one unless we're gonna pick a fantasy book. I think then we're gonna be having a fun time. <laughs> yeah, I actually don't think so. No. Nope. Okay, we need another prompt. This is not starting out the way I thought it would. Okay, let's try again. This one was a bit hidden, so I'm gonna try this one and I'm gonna show it to you. Oh, these are even two. Perfect. A book with a profession in the title. Okay. Oh! Oh, I see right away one over here. Do you see what I'm pointing towards? I don't think so. I think that's actually the best one we can do. So the one I'm picking now is Mr. Fixer Upper by Lucy Score. I actually bought this also almost a year ago in New York City. So there's a vlog on this one as well and a book haul as well, if you're curious. Yeah, I bought this a long time ago and I actually really wanted to read it this year. Actually, I'm very intrigued to pick this up. So this is supposed to be a sexy, grumpy renovation reality star and his no-nonsense field producer. I'm very interested. I saw that it's third-person POV, but the premise sounded very funny and intriguing. So I'm really curious to pick this one up. I think our neighbor is doing the lawn right now and I'm not happy about that. So I'm sorry if you're hearing any noises from outside. So they are on the road together renovating homes, which sounds very, very funny fun to me because I used to love watching these shows when I was little, reading a book about this and having it being a love story. I think it's gonna be very fun. So what is the second prompt that we have here? A book recommended by a friend. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, I think I have even more than one, if I'm not mistaken. I have two options for this one. The first one being King of Pride, because a friend of mine, she read the entire Kings of Sin series by Anna Huang. I read the first one now, I really enjoyed it. And she said that King of Pride and in general, the King of Sin books are really, really good. So I wanna continue in this series. I'm probably gonna listen to it as an audiobook. So this one is probably on my TBR this month anyways. But also a very good friend of mine gave me this book to my birthday, Tuesdays with Maury. An old man, a young man and life's greatest lesson. And she said it changed her life. So I feel like this is actually very important for me to read soon. Yeah, I think this is actually the better option for me to pick because it wasn't even a recommendation, it was also a gift. So there is a character that always on Tuesdays meets up with Maury and then we're following him discovering those life lessons. And I think it's a very heartfelt book and a very honest book as well. And I think this is gonna be the better pick for this prompt actually. Oh, it was the wrong way, oops. A book you bought because of the cover. Oh, I think I have a very clear favorite for that one. One second. Wild Love by Elsie Silver is not only a book I bought because of the cover, but that was the main reason actually why it was so intriguing to me because I wanted to have this book in my bookshelf. I think it's so beautiful, like with the pink and everything. I just adore this. I love her Chestnut Spring series so far. I haven't read all of them yet, but I read two out of them and I really enjoy her writing style. And this is a series all about single dads. As as I'm aware and I wanted to read the second one Wild Eyes I think it's called because this one is about a pop star and a single dad which I'm really intrigued about but of course I wanted to read this one first and I mean look at this cover this is just beautiful so this is definitely one I bought not only because of the cover but the cover had a huge impact as to why I wanted to pick it up a book set in the past huh I don't actually have one here because I don't really read historical fiction no I don't have it. Okay, we're gonna have to skip that one and pick another one. We have two more books to go. Okay, let this be a good one, hopefully. A book that starts with the first letter of your name. So with a C. Okay, I have one over here. Two, three. Oh, I actually have four. Okay, I'm gonna show them all. One second. So four books are actually making it in that stack. The first one is Caught Up by Liz Tom Ford. This is the third installment in the 
Windy City series. I read the first two already, so this is actually very convenient now. I am currently also filming reading those. I've been reading those for a very long time though, so the re reading vlog is still gonna take some time. I'm just saying. But yeah, right now four books are out and next year the fifth one is gonna come out as well. And this is also about a single dad. We have a theme going here. Then a book I picked up years ago is Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron. And this is, I think, two FMCs that are finding each other. So it's a Cinderella reimagining, retelling, as we can already tell by the title. I don't know why I haven't picked this up yet, actually. So it actually sounds very interesting. I don't know. I just haven't picked it up yet. Then I have Confessions of a Shopaholic. I picked this up as a used copy because I read this when I was younger completely in German and I wanted to read it in English again because I feel like this is maybe fun because this used to be one of my favorite series and to be honest a lot of people hate the movie I also love the movie like just the character Becky Bloomwood is just I grew up with her sort of you know like I grew through her ups and downs and I just love her character so much that I really love the series I wanted to read it in English actually to see how it is like how the author intended it to sound you know without any intermediaries and just with her pure voice in there yeah I'm very curious because I think this is also a good palette cleanser to have and then lastly we have Cersei by Madeline Miller. I tried reading this a few years ago and it was actually a bit too difficult for me to be honest. It's just very tough English I would say. I think by now I would be able to read it but it's gonna take me some time and also it's a small like it's a tiny book. Look at the comparison yeah this is tiny but the lettering is even more tiny. Even though it looks so small, it's gonna take you a long time to get through. And it's fine because I enjoy reading. I'm just saying it's gonna be exhausting, you know, because this is like maybe a size 8 font or something. So if you compare this here, and then you have this. Like this is tiny. So I'm just saying this is a bit annoying. I feel like this is maybe better on you reader actually. So now I don't really know what to pick. Um, I don't know if you have that issue too, but if a book has been on your TBR for too long, you start to feel no emotions toward it or almost negative emotions. So for me, these two books have been on my TBR so, for so, so, so long that I'm not actually not even interested in picking them up anymore. I know that's bad, but right now I'm just not really curious. So maybe if you say these two are really, really good or like you can recommend me one of them, then please let me know in the comments down below because I would love to read them. But also on the other hand, I'm just not intrigued by them right now. This one would just make sense to continue the series and this one, oh, <laughs> this one would also just be a fun read. So I'm a bit at a crossroads right now. Okay, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna read this one. No, no, this one feels right. Okay, this one feels right. I'm gonna be reading this one this month. My intuition was just telling me that this would be the better option, I think. Okay, and the last one. I hope this is a good one. A book published this year. Okay, I think that's a good one. Actually, well, now I'm struggling. <laughs> Okay, there's one book that came out this year. The Romcomers by Catherine Center is definitely a book I wanted to pick up this year still because I read The Bodyguard by her about a year ago. Absolutely loved it and I feel like this would actually be nice to still read this year round. I'm actually thinking, I don't think I have any other book right here physically that released this month, this year I mean. So I feel like this is the best choice. So we're having like so 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 many rom-coms and romance books in here but that's also primarily what I have at home recently and what I've been reading this year. I wanted to read more fantasy because I used to be a complete romanticy fan and stan but yeah I guess this is my selection now. It's so random like Tuesdays with Maui in between all of these romance books but I think this actually oh a good balance. I think we can make this work. This seems accurate. I think this could be a good idea. So Mr. Fixer Upper was a book with a profession in the title. Tuesdays with Maury was a recommendation from a friend. Wild Love was a cover purchase. Caught Up is a book starting with the same letter as my name. And then The Realm Commerce is a book that released this year. Which books would you have picked if you would have had my prompts? That's something I'm really curious about. So let me know in the comments down below or let me know your current TBR that you're having for January. No, wow, <laughs> December. It's only December, okay? We still have one month left to go. So let me know. I'm very curious to hear from you. And with that, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Bye.